Welcome back. Future searching for some direction this morning as we look ahead to some pretty big economic data out this morning. We've got durable goods out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. We've got the Fed minutes out later today. The PMI's Purchasing Managers Index important window into manufacturing out at 9.45 this morning. Joining me right now ahead of all of that, Commonwealth Financial Network Chief Investment Officer Brad McMillan. Brad, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. What are you expecting on this shortened holiday week? And it's been a pretty good November for stocks. Dow Industrial's up about 3% or so. Uh, do you think that has legs going into year end? I do think that has legs, Maria. Um, when you look at the typical Santa Claus rally we get, when we look at the fear that we've had around a whole bunch of things, especially inflation, and then when you look at the fact that some of the news seems to be getting maybe not better but less worse, I do think we have some legs going forward. So what do you want to look at in terms of growth here? We've got the FOMC minutes coming out this afternoon at 2 p.m. That's from the November meeting. Uh, investors are already expecting a 50 basis point hike at the Fed's next meeting, the final meeting of the year next month, December 13th and 14th. How do you see rates going higher, impacting the macro story and these markets? Well, it's going to be a question of what we're doing versus expectations. And we've already had some comments from Fed governors saying, yeah, you know what, we're probably going to slow, slow it down a bit. So the real question for the Fed minutes is going to be, are they thinking about 50 and are they thinking about going slower than that? So right now, we're still fairly aggressive hiking priced in. And if we see any back off, that could be a real tailwind because, as I say, not necessarily good, but less bad. Well, I mean, we've already seen a real impact of these rates. I mean, look at housing. 7 percent mortgage rates has created uh, massive dislocation. And, of course, within industry, you've got layoffs. Layoffs slamming big tech. HP now the latest to say it's cutting between four to 6,000 jobs globally over the next three years. The stock is actually up this morning, 1.5%. Google reportedly pre preparing to lay off 10,000 people. Uh, they are saying that these are the poor performing employees. The stock is flat right now. And, of course, we've seen others uh, within tech. Your thoughts on the layoffs. Is this going to get worse in, in 23? I think it's going to get worse in tech, and the reason for that is tech is coming off a multi-year great run. They've been fat, they've been happy, they've been enormously successful, and they haven't been focused on cost cutting. When, you, when times get a little bit tougher, you got to tighten your belt. For the broader economy, though, we're not seeing those layoffs at a level that would affect things. We're actually seeing layoffs at a normal level. So I think this is a sectoral thing. And I think this is just about an adjustment and not something worse. James, jump in. Thanks, uh, Brad. It's hard to believe the Fed is going to stop hiking until rates are at least higher than inflation. Are you expecting a plunge in inflation over the next month or two or three? Well, first of all, I think they are going to keep hiking. The question is how fast. But I do think that we are seeing inflation roll over. I mean, if you look at all of the components, they're actually starting to be down. Energy is subtracted from inflation over the past several months. You can see rents, which is the biggest part of services, coming down. Goods are actually in deflation in some categories. So, yeah, we're going to see a significant adjustment, not just because things are getting less bad, but also because of the year on year. They're a lot less bad than they were a year ago. So you want to buy stocks here, Brad? I'm OK with buying stocks, but I would still be cautious. We don't know where interest rates are. I'd stay defensive. I think consumer staples are a good place because the average person is going to continue to work and spend. I think health care is a continuing growth area. I'd be cautious, but yeah, I'd be in stocks. All right, Brad, good to see you. Thanks so much. Brad McMillan joining nice us. Have you. a happy Thanksgiving, Brad. Thank you.